anonymous watch guy here with a review for you today. Uh, thought I was going to have an unboxing video, but FedEx decided they wanted the watch more than I did, so it stuck at the hub. Uh, so we'll have some more unboxings in the coming days. Uh, wrist check, I'm wearing the Casio A168. Uh, hard to get a shot there. I apologize, I may be a little awkward in this video. I've got the pro tip to film the videos in landscape mode. Uh, I had been filming in uh, with my phone standing straight up and down on this little stand. Uh, so switching to landscape mode for this video. Uh, but today we've got a review of the Zodiac Super Seawolf. Reference is Z09269. Uh, full retail on this one is $1,395. Uh, this is the watermelon variant. And... Uh, this watch was really hard to get for a while. Uh, it was sold out everywhere. Uh, I actually found it at a local AD um, and was able to pick it up when it was not available most places. Uh, Zodiac has released uh, some newer pro divers uh, that are 42 millimeter and chronometer grade and uh, some up, a little bit of an upgrade over this particular uh, version of the Super Seawolf. But <clears throat> this is the the former version that is still available. Uh, and this is a 40 millimeter watch. Uh, you do have, and that is from one side of the bezel to the other. Uh, the bezel does overhang the case just a little bit. So the case size is just a little bit smaller than that. Um, you do have a 49 millimeter lug to lug. So it is a long watch. Those lugs do curve down though. Uh, so it does not wear that large. Uh, this is a kind of a vintage inspired diver. Uh, Zodiac has been making dive watches and they're known for their dive watches. Uh, they've been making them since the 1950s. And this is inspired by those uh, dive watches of that era. So it does have some kind of vintage uh, watch sizing, really. Uh, you do have a 20 millimeter lug width and it is just over 13 and a half millimeters thick. You do have a, a screw down crown at the three o'clock position. Uh, it is signed with the Zodiac logo. Uh, this watch does give you 200 meters water resistance. And it is using the STP 3-13 Swiss made movement uh, that gives you 44 hours power reserve. It does have a, a screw down case back with the Zodiac logo also gives you the reference number on there, uh, some other specs uh, on the back, as well as Zodiac 1882 when the company was founded. Uh, let's take a little bit closer look at the dial. This is a, a domed sapphire crystal. Uh, it does have some inner AR coating on it. Um, you can see that just gorgeous sunray silver dial absolutely love the dial on this watch and you can see your minute track all the way around is the same color uh, of basically like the inside of a watermelon and then your bezel is the color of the outside of the watermelon uh, you've got your applied zodiac logo at the 12 o'clock position with the zodiac name under and then super seawolf in that nice uh, script writing uh, automatic and, and the water rating there above the six and of course Swiss made uh, date window at three o'clock is outlined uh, looks really really good on the dial there do you have applied markers at all your hour positions uh, your minute hand kind of matches the color of the bezel just love the colors on this watch uh, this watch is a, an attention grabber you know, Zodiac is kind of known for their uh, their wild colors, and uh, I really, really enjoy uh, the color contrast and the color scheme of this watch. Uh, bezel action is great. No back play at all on that bezel. Uh, it lines up really well, too. No issues there. Uh, this does have a Jubilee style bracelet. 
very comfortable bracelet. Uh, one thing's kind of cool too, without really any micro adjust with this butterfly clasp, Zodiac has made this clasp where it, it stretches, see that? Uh, so if your wrist swells a little bit in the summertime, you're out doing activities, whatever, your watch isn't gonna get too tight, uh, this bracelet stretches uh, and gives you some extra space there acting in effect like a micro adjustment. It is a butterfly clasp. A lot of people don't care for butterfly clasps. This butterfly clasp is pretty well done. Uh, all high polish in there. It is one of those ones where you have to close the one side before the other, as you can see the Zodiac logo fits in uh, to the other side. So one side has to be shut uh, before the other. Really comfortable bracelet, uh, really well done. Uh, very fun watch, very comfortable to wear. Um, really enjoy the looks. Um, I do have a larger wrist, uh, so it, it is kind of on the smaller side for what I typically go for, uh, but uh, don't be too concerned. It, it, it's gonna look just fine on you if you do have a little bit bigger wrist. Uh, and if you do have a smaller wrist with that lug length, uh, being that it curves down, uh, you're going to be just fine as well. Uh, one of the drawbacks, I think, of the watch is, as you can see when you're looking at it here, straight on, this crown is pretty small. Uh, and, you know, there's no crown guards or anything, but I have big fat fingers and, uh, it's a little bit hard to grip and a little bit hard to operate this screw down crown. It is a pretty small crown. Um, that's kind of one drawback of the watch. Uh, you know, again, I think this butterfly clasp is pretty well done, uh, but you know, I'm not a huge butterfly, butterfly clasp fan. Uh, this is a pretty good one, but that would be another, you know, possible drawback for me for the watch. But other than that, you know, the looks are great, very comfortable to wear, really good specs. Um, you know, some people may be worried, you know, Zodiac is owned by Fossil now, or has been for a while. You know, the STP movement's kind of basically, a, you know, owned by Fossil as well. Uh, but no concerns on quality there. The quality is there on this watch. Um, you know, the, the finishing's great. You've got your high polish. Uh, you know, high polish center links in the, in, the, in the bracelet here, your high polish on the case uh, versus uh, your brushed finish on the side. Um, the coin edging on the uh, bezel is great. Uh, overall quality is just, it's outstanding. Um, this is the only Zodiac I own. I'm one of those guys that tried to get like, you know, a watch from each brand. I don't have too many double brand uh, watches in my collection. So, uh, but I would buy another Zodiac. I would own another Zodiac. Um, I think they're, they're, the quality is outstanding. Uh, There's solid value for money. You know, some of the newer watches are chronometer grade and you know, you can get them for about $1,600. You know, this one at $1,400, outstanding value for money. Uh, great looks, comfortable to wear. It's fun. It's a fun kind of summertime sports dive watch. Um, it's held up really well for me over the past year or so that I've owned it. Um, no issues at all with it. Um, you know, it's it's been a good companion for me, and I, I really enjoy it. And again, those colors. I mean, that sunray silver dial. Uh, you know. The watermelon colorway. It's just fun. It's a fun, sporty watch. And uh, I definitely recommend checking out Zodiac. If you don't have one in your collection, give them a look. Um, you can get them on the Zodiac website, worn and wound. Um, there's a few exquisite timepieces, I believe. There's a few other ADs. I happen to live close to an AD that sells these. They don't have them on their website, though. Uh, but uh, great pieces. Couldn't recommend Zodiac more. So if you liked the video, maybe give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you with some unboxing videos soon. Thanks for watching.